Here we are on Wilcox Street. Let's see uh, Lash Miller Chemistry Building to the right here. We're going east. Ooh, there's a nice cafe down there, Sid's Cafe. Great uh, noodle bowls and uh, burrito bowls, burgers and fries. And here we are, and it is St. George. Ooh, better watch out for pedestrians. Turning south on St. George. Hey, look at that. CN Tower off in the distance. Such a beautiful day. <gasps> Wait a minute. What time is it? Oh my gosh. I'm going to be late for my Physics 152 practical. You know, the TA doesn't like us to be tardy. Better pick up the pace a little bit here. See astronomy there on my left. There's physics. Whew, well, late. Here we are, McLennan Physical Laboratories, otherwise known as Physics Building. Ooh, there's a nice place to buy some coffee as well in here. Little labs are down here. Go to MP127. Okay, I'm going to be the last one. Oh, nobody here. Hello, welcome Physics 152 to the Circuits Lab. Um, so, in physics, it's important for you to be able to hook up some circuits. Uh, you need to know how to make the current flow through. You need to be able to hook things up in series or in parallel. You need to be able to measure the voltage across a circuit. I uh, should be able to, you know, take current measurements. Now these are things you may have done in high school, and if so, this week is going to be a bit of review for you. Um, but if you haven't done a lot of circuits, uh, I'll go through some of the some of the real basic uh, ideas of how to hook up a circuit and what voltage and current are when you're trying to get um, uh, the light to, to go on. Okay, let me introduce you to some of the stuff that you're going to be playing with. So this is just wire. So each one of these is actually uh, copper at the core and then at the tips of it you have these banana plugs um, as they're called um, and then it's surrounded, wires surrounded in plastic so you don't zap yourself. Uh, you tend to have, if you reach into the box, tend to have a lot of like uh, red and black wires. And so uh, obviously the electrons don't know if they're in a red or a black wire but we tend to use red for the plus side and black for the minus side. So now I'm talking about a battery. So this is a uh, six volt battery. It's got a plus terminal and a minus terminal. Um, the six volts means that's the difference in voltage. Uh, the, red, the plus terminal is six volts higher than the minus terminal. And so what we say uh, in DC circuits is that the minus terminal is the ground and, well, it's not really a ground, but we say that it's zero volts. We define it to be the ground. Uh, the real ground would be if you actually literally took a piece of metal and hammered it into the ground, uh, deep into the, earth, the dirt of the earth, then that would, uh, that would be an actual ground. But this is what, we, what we're going to call the ground in today's lab. And here's a little light bulb. You can see just where the light can come on there. There's a switch over there. So what I want to do is hook up the most basic circuit. And the way you do that, you take your battery. You've got the plus side over here, minus side over here. Let's take the red wire. I'm going to plug it into the plus side. And that's got the, the voltage, right? So when we plug it to the light bulb, you think the light bulb's going to go on? Hmm. It doesn't go on. It's kind of weird. It's hooked up. So this is plus volts. So this should be charging this bulb. And in fact, it is charging this bulb to positive charge. But that's not what makes a light bulb uh, glow. What makes a light bulb glow and for power to be dissipating, this three watts of power, is you have to have uh, current, electric current flowing through the bulb. And that is not happening. The only way to get current flowing is if you complete the circuit. In order to do that, you need to take your black wire and ground it and go back to, to the minus terminal of your battery. When you do that, then light turns on. And you can see the light. 
As soon as you disconnect any part of the circuit, if you disconnect it here or here or here or here, anywhere there's a broken, uh, so it's called a broken circuit, anywhere where it doesn't make a connection, then the light bulb goes off. Now the right light bulb is a resistor, and so that's a sort of a nice way of using the power from this battery. If you, so that's, this is a broken circuit. There's also something called a short circuit, which you should know about. And that is if you take the plus side of the battery and the minus side of the battery and you touch them together. <laughs> yeah, so what just happened there is I just shorted out this battery and popped the circuit breaker. So now the battery will no longer work. So you can see this is a little circuit breaker. If I push that back in, then it uh, turns the battery back on. So that's a good way to kill a battery and turn it on fire is to uh, short it, short your circuit so that the, the, there's no resistor in the circuit and the battery just uh, has a huge current going through it and it can actually set one of these on fire. And that's why we have a little circuit breaker there. So don't short your, your battery. Next thing I wanna show you is uh, what's called the voltmeter and the ammeter. Now the ammeter I think is pretty easy to understand. So we're going to use it first. Uh, the way it works is you just uh, put the wire in the circuit, so it's good to press zero to uh, kind of zero it out, and then you put your wire in the circle, and that tells you how much current is going through the wire, and there's a minus sign there showing me that I've got it going wrong. I think I'm supposed to go from down to up. So there's zero. So I can see that there's 0 0.49 amps going through this circuit. So that's an ammeter, that's kind of a cool thing. The other thing I've got here is a voltmeter, and the voltmeter has a black wire and a red wire, and the idea is that you take the black wire and you attach it to your ground. So the black always sits in the ground of the battery, and I've just plugged it in there. And now the red wire measures the difference between the, volt, the electric potential at the ground and the electric potential somewhere else. So if I put it over here in the plus terminal of the, of the battery, I get six point, uh, something like six, six volts, it's a six volt battery. If I put it over here in the minus terminal and touch it, I get zero. Okay, so the six volts across this battery. Now across the light bulb, if we go from red over here and touch it to just this side of the battery, it's six still. So just this side of the light bulb, it's six. The other side of the light bulb, it has dropped to zero, almost zero. So if you go all around the circuit, you got zeros on the one side, and then it goes up from zero to plus six across the battery, and then it's got uh, six to, to zero on the other on through the as the voltage drop across the resistor. So voltage, as you look at current, this is what I always like to do. What is the current doing? It's going through the bulb and then in through the battery and around, and that's the circuit. It goes around and around. And every time the current goes through the battery, the voltage jumps up by six volts. Every time the current goes through the light bulb, the voltage drops down by six volts. So for those of you at home, instead of the real setup in the physics building, you're going to use the virtual setup on the FET Circuit Construction Kit DC. Good luck and have a great week.